Warning. This show contains adult political themes and language. Liberals and little children should cover their ears. Welcome to Liberty Never Sleeps, where negativity never sounded so good. No, 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 no. Now here's your host, Thomas Purcell. Turkeys. There's this big story that's going around the internet now about Butterball not having enough big turkeys. Do you remember the big pumpkin debate? A couple of years ago, they said pumpkin crop's bad. You better go get pumpkin in the you know canned pumpkin for making your pies. Not too many people make a fresh pie anymore. And if you don't get them now, you're not going to have pumpkins for pumpkin pie, right? So I go to the store, buy my Thanksgiving dinner. I go, oh, I say you know to my girlfriend, hey, listen, better pick up a can of pop, a couple pumpkins. I heard this story. Because we make those together, right? I go to the store and there's nothing but freaking pumpkin everywhere. I mean, there's a stack of pumpkin cans this high. And after Thanksgiving, they all started saying that, that there was they were giving away the freaking pumpkins at Walmart and and the supermarkets. They still have a thousand cans of pumpkins. They always have a thousand cans of pumpkin. It was done just to gin up pumpkin sales. Now they're telling us with turkeys, there's not enough big turkeys. To feed everybody, to get it, to get everybody a friggin' turkey that they want, that's a big turkey, you better get it now. I go to the store. It's nothing but turkeys everywhere. Bins of them. They're practically giving them away. If you buy like $100 or more groceries, you get a turkey for $0.29. Cents. Or you buy buy a turkey at full price, you know, like 15 bucks a turkey, whatever it is, you get another turkey for free. They're giving them away, literally. So the, I, it's just – they're just trying to gin up sales for Butterball turkeys, which are the big brand name. But to be honest, just about there's about a million brands of turkeys in every turkey store that aren't Butterball. They're just as good. I cannot tell the difference between a Butterball turkey and the ABC turkey or Foster Farms turkey. I like to get a fresh turkey. You know, I haven't this year. We're not entertaining for the first time in a long time, so we're probably going to get a frozen turkey. But I like fresh turkeys. But they say that there's not enough turkeys to go around. What a, what a crock. I mean, I couldn't imagine them not having enough turkeys for Thanksgiving. The bin was as long as a Buick in the supermarket, full of turkeys. Walmart, too, full of turkeys. Lots of turkeys. And there's, this, you know, there's a supermarket on every corner right now, right? And I, I, I don't know. I haven't heard any stories. But they the, then they started qualifying it. Yesterday, the story was... There aren't going to be enough big turkeys. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of turkeys, but there's not enough big ones like the 15 and 20 pounders. That's baloney, too. There's nothing but turkeys in this country. They grow wild. I mean, or raise wild. There's nothing but turkeys everywhere. Turkey used to be – was considered the national bird. There's plenty of turkeys in the United States. You want to see a, a lack of turkeys? Go over to Africa. They got no turkeys. They got big government, but they got no turkeys. Go to, go to some of these other countries, like India and stuff like that. I don't know if turkey is served in India or whatever. But the, the plentiful amount of food that's in the United States, we don't have any shortage of. We may have a shortage in distribution. You know, there's not enough trucks to get it to Phoenix or, and temporary. But I've never walked into a supermarket on anything and been told, well, we don't have them. There's a shortage this year. That's That's for Russia, right? I had a roommate in college who was from Russia. We I lived in an international house, a house where there was like I had a guy from Australia, I had a guy from Japan, and a guy, guy I had a guy from and he used to say I you know, I, I we talk about different things in different countries, what's it like here, what's it like there. And I asked him what is the most surprising thing that you found? When you've come over here, because in, at his time it was still the Soviet Union, and he was an exchange student from there, not not Russia, Soviet Union. And he said to me, "You know what? I've, the biggest shock to me." And I said, "What?" He goes, "Supermarkets." I go, "Supermarkets? Don't they have supermarkets in Russia?" This, I was younger, I didn't know. And he says, "Oh yeah, we have markets and stuff like that. We have butcher shops and just like you guys have here." He says, "But there's never anything on the shelves. How do you keep your?" shelves from emptying. I go, what do you mean? He says, well, we sell something. It's like a store. They have lemons today. We have lemons today. 
and everyone gets in line and buys out the lemons until the, he runs out of lemons, and the store shuts down. That's how stores work at that time in the Soviet Union. And he goes, "What? how do you keep it on the shelf? What prevents the people from just buying everything on the shelves, and then you run out? And I told him, because it'll be there tomorrow. It's one of the, like I said yesterday, one of the subtle things about America, about the greatness of America. It's the little things. It's the things that you can't really quantify in a chart or quantify by categorization. You know, people say, well, we're ranked 14th in, among civilized nations for education, and that's why America is lousy. But they don't ever talk about the fact that Thanksgiving, there's nothing but turkeys. In the shelf. I mean, in the, the shelf. And it's not just turkeys. It's pumpkin, noodles, stuffing, gravy. Gravy as high as the, literally, pyramids full of gravy. Canned gravy, jarred gravy, gravy packets, powdered gravy, turkey gravy, beef gravy, pork gravy, barbecue gravy, bowl of gravy. <laughs> For those of you who are Tosh listeners. But they, every, every time I, I hear about how bad America is, they never talk about all the great things, all the things that really make a difference in your life. It really doesn't matter too much if you're ranked 13th in education. You know why? Because you can send your kids to different schools. I mean, assuming that you're not dead broke and have to send them to public school, you want to send your kid to a better school, you can move. You can bus them into a different school, private school. You can make arrangements. Pardon me, I've got that sinus condition again because I worked on the yard. But these are all things that make America great. You have a choice. You can choose to live life as a pauper or you can choose to earn something better. you got a one in three chance if you're born into poverty to make it big, right? That's pretty good. Not everybody makes it big because they don't have the talent or the skill or just the breaks or opportunity. But they never talk about those the fact that you can get 20-pound turkey for pennies, literally. Talk turkeys are so cheap. Last year, I think the year before last, my girlfriend and I went shopping for Thanksgiving. I love cooking turkey. I mean, I, I just – I don't do it year-round. I love it. And, you know, the pet, the turkeys are like three or four bucks, a small turkey. Maybe not the big fresh turkeys, but a small frozen turkey costs you peanuts. You can't go anywhere – I haven't been a turkey's anywhere in any other country, not that I know of, right? That's – I mean that's wild game, and there's bins of them. It's the subtle things like that that make America great and make me worried when I see leaders like Obama talk down the country. Our military, for instance, is all volunteer. And we cover half the world in foreign countries and places where we're not wanted and places where we are. It's all volunteers. We used to have to have to draft. People didn't join the military unless you drafted them. Now they volunteer. We offer all these benefits. It's the little things that make America great. That's why when I see stories like this, I know better. I know there's no shortage of turkeys. They said a shortage of turkeys that are 16 pounds or larger have been cut in half. The shortage is not real. They're doing it to gin up their sales because they get stuck every year with a whole bunch of turkeys. I know because if I go shopping after Thanksgiving, they're giving them away. They offer two-for-ones to get rid of the last of them. It's like that. The only time I ever see a real shortage is if you wait until like Christmas Eve for a ham because hams don't sell well as, as well as turkeys, so they don't stock them as heavily. They have a lot of them, but they don't stock them like turkeys. So if you wait, you still get a ham, but maybe it isn't the brand that you want or the size that you want. It's usually down to the smaller one. But that's ham. You know, it's a little bit more difficult to raise, and and it's not. It doesn't sell as well. I know it won't sell this year. Some people have ham on Thanksgiving, but not this year. You know why? It's Thanksgiving, Uka. I think Hanukkah falls on Thanksgiving this year, so they probably won't be having ham. Just my two cents. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, Jewish people eat ham. Lots of them do. It's it's only the the Orthodox Jewish that don't eat ham. Which brings me to, to the main subject I wanted to talk about.